Hello everyone, welcome to Standard Institute HVC channel. Today we will learn on we will learn about package and conditioning systems. It is one of the HVC systems. In my previous uh, uploaded videos, I have given two lectures. First one was on split DC, and the very uh, recent lecture which I have given was on duct split DC. Please go through this, that on my YouTube channel. Okay, today now we will continue with the package and conditioning systems. The name package. Why we are why the name is being package given to this particular system? Because in one particular box, all the four components of our refrigeration cycle is being given, is being placed. Those are compressor, condenser, expansion valve, and this one is an evaporator. Here in our refrigeration cycle, as we all know, that we will be having two heat exchanging coils. One coil will be in the condenser section and the other coil will be in the evaporative section, evaporator section. Two heat exchanging coils will be getting one at condenser, condenser other, at, at, other is at evaporator. So let me explain this particular box first, then I will explain you regarding the air cycle within the space. First let me complete this. Okay, here within this particular box, you are having an evaporator, you are having a compressor, you are having a condenser, you are having an expansion valve, this is refrigerant distribution, one inlet, three outlets, this is the fan blower section, motor, fan or blower, this is the housing of the particular fan blower section, this is your duct, supply air duct which is going into the space, this is the return air duct which is coming back to the machine, this is this is your compressor section, that's why it has been said as machine section, machine compartment, okay. Now we will go with the refrigeration cycle. What happens here? Return air is coming from the space. From the space, return air is coming at a rated temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. While are your return air grill, this complete section. This is your, from here to this completely till here, it's a return air grill front panel. This is the front panel altogether. Here, return air grill. We are getting a return air of temperature 27 degree Celsius. From <coughs> as the temperature is coming from 27 degree Celsius, refrigerant is being distributed at a temperature of 6 degree Celsius and the refrigerant state is liquid state. What's the state of refrigerant? Liquid state. I have stated over here one inlet, three outlets. Here is the distributor, refrigerant distributor. So this line is a liquid line. From here we are getting a six degree Celsius refrigerant in liquid state. From here we are getting air. What's the temperature of air? 27 degree Celsius. What's the temperature of refrigerant? 6 degree Celsius. What happens? This return air rejects it, its heat to the liquid refrigerant and automatically as the return air rejects its heat to the refrigerant, liquid refrigerant, its temperature converts from 27 degrees Celsius to 22 degrees Celsius. Right. What is happening? Return air rejects its heat to liquid refrigerant then from 27 degrees Celsius our air will get the required temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. But as the heat is been taken by the liquid refrigerant, this liquid refrigerant converts its state from liquid to condensed gas at a temperature of 17 degrees Celsius. Here the temperature was caused more, it rejects the temperature, temperature decreased to 22 degrees Celsius. Here the temperature was less and the refrigerant was in liquid state but it accepted the heat, it is natural, but it accepted the heat so the temperature of the liquid converted to 17 degrees Celsius condensed gas. This condensed gas will go to your compressor as compressor does three things. Compressor does three things. Compressor is nothing but heart of your HVAC system. Whatever heart does, it sucks our blood, it compresses our blood, it discharges our blood. Why to compress to increase the blood pressure? Why to increase so that it can easily distribute within our all the body organs? 
The same thing will be done by your compressor. Compressor sucks the refrigerant, condensed gas, it sucks the gas, it compresses that gas. Why it is compressing the gas? To just increase the pressure of the refrigerant. Okay, but what happens whenever a gas is being compressed, when a gas is being compressed, to in motto is to increase the pressure, but eventually its temperature also gets increased. Eventually, not just pressure, temperature also increases. So what happens over here? Usually here you are getting medium temperature, low pressure, gas, condensed gas. Over here you will be getting high temperature, high pressure gas. We just need pressure, we don't need temperature. So the very next thing comes into the scenario is your condenser. Condenser is nothing but set of cooling tubes which will let the temperature, high temperature to get decreased how? by injecting the atmospheric air which is of less temperature when compared with your high temperature, high pressure gas. Due to that what happens, this high temperature, high pressure gas rejects its heat to atmosphere and it converts to from high temperature to medium temperature, high pressure condensate liquid. Condensate liquid. It's not a gas. No. It's a condensate liquid. This condensate liquid is being given to a liquid dryer line. From here, it's being given to your expansion valve. Expansion valve. What is the role of expansion valve? Expansion valve is being given to reduce the pressure. Whenever the refrigerant pressure is decreased to a set to a required level, automatically the condensate liquid converts to pure liquid with a rated temperature of 6 degrees Celsius again. What happened? From here, condensate liquid is being given to expansion valve. Expansion valve role is to decrease the pressure of refrigerant. As the pressure of refrigerant decreases, automatically gas line converts to pure liquid line at a temperature of 6 degrees Celsius. Hope you understood this particular refrigeration cycle. What I told you, let me again recall what I said till now, just I will give an overview. Return air at temperature of 27 degrees Celsius, it rejects its heat to your refrigerant. Refrigerant is at 6 degrees, 6 degrees Celsius. Due to that what happens, as it is rejecting its heat, our return air converts to supply air at 22 degrees Celsius and it is given back to the space. But what happens? 6 degree refrigerant converts to 17 degrees Celsius from liquid to condensed gas. This condensed gas is been taken by compressor. Compressor, compressor does suction, sucking the refrigerant from evaporator coil, compressing the gas, that is condensed gas, discharging that particular gas to your condenser. From condenser, it has been given to uh, condenser what is happening? Heat is been rejected. High temperature is been rejected to atmosphere. Why? Because atmosphere is low, low temperature body. This condenser is high temperature body. Heat transfer from high, uh, high, higher body temperature to lower body temperature. That's why the heat is been rejected to atmosphere. From here, it is been given to evaporator. Uh, before evaporator, it is been given to expansion valve. Expansion valve decreases the pressure of the refrigerant. Due to that, you will get 6 degrees Celsius low temperature, low pressure liquid again back to evaporator. Again, this return air will strike. This process will go on. You will get supply air 22 degrees Celsius. It keeps on when return air comes 27 degrees Celsius, goes at 22 degrees Celsius. Okay, understanding all of you. Hope you all are understanding what I am saying. So, this is all about refrigeration cycle. Let's come to air cycle. Here in this system, we have two cycles. One is refrigeration cycle, which I have explained you clearly. Next cycle is of air cycle. What is air cycle? Supply air from machine to room. Return air from room to machine. That's it. This is your supply air duct. Air is being transferred to your room at 22 degrees Celsius with the help of blow. Blower is doing two things. It's sucking that, it's discharging. Sucking, discharging. And that is taking return air, giving back to supply air. So, the air is being supplied at a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. From here, it's a slab opening. From here, you took a duct supply duct. It's a supply air diffuser. Air is being supplied at a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. 
but due to room heat temperature of air from 22 degrees celsius it converts to or increased to 27 degrees celsius due many factors are there external factors are there internal factors are there due to that heat increases many factors are there which add heat to your room okay so uh, due to that what is happening your air temperature is rising from 22 degrees celsius to 27 degrees celsius we have given an opening we have kept that return air diffuser no need of keep placing a duct return air duct because there is nothing which is uh, uh, holding our return air okay so just a bell mouth has been given a return air duct has been placed onto the wall opening we have given a wall opening and taken the return air duct inside from here uh, we have given a path to this return air such that it can go back to your system that's how air cycle works from system supply air has been given to the room from room return air will take it back to the system room to system system to room this is called as a cycle that's it it's very simple two cycles are there from here the air has been given so by this what happens with these two cycles we are getting three things which is required in any every mean which is required for any hvac system that is point number one why we require it for hvac systems why we require hvac system point number one temperature control we are getting temperature control at 22 degrees celsius second humidity control many humidifiers we can place within the system such that we can give a prop we, we can maintain a proper humidity in a particular room third fresh air we can even place a we can make an arrangement of fresh air duct and such that we, there is an easy easily we can place a fresh air duct of 10 percent or 15 percent such that to give what to give a proper indoor air quality three things are required one is proper control over temperature second humidity control third give pressure that's it three things if any of the system is meeting that's a perfect attack system hope you understand about this package and conditioning class which i have taken to you thanks a lot for listening and please uh, subscribe our youtube channel uh, click the subscribe button and click the notification uh, such a notification bell such that you can keep on getting our daily up updates regarding many of the lectures which are about to come in the future thank you i'll sign off now thanks a lot